All right, some NXT notes. We'll do a full review with Dave and Vinny. I generally liked this show, but there were dialogue. There were Women's a few things dialogue. that I didn't I didn't really like. So first off, remember yesterday we were talking about one be NXT without a Gallus match. Mm-hmm. They announced Wesley, Tyler Bate, and Pete Dunn against Gallus. I thought, golly. Wesley, Tyler Bate, and Pete Dunn against Gallus. Should be a really good match. Kind of a showcase here for Wesley, Tyler Bate, and Pete Dunn. As God is my witness, Joe Coffey pinned Wesley. What is up with this Joe Coffey? He's solid. Every, that's it, Mike. He's solid. This guy, you know what someone reminded me of? They go, do you remember when Triple H was booking NXT? They had all this fantastic talent. The, the highlight, the glory days of NXT. But he was determined to get over the Forgotten Sons. And they were always getting pushed. And they were, and nobody ever cared. And they never got over. You remember this? You just wait till Steve Macklin's in the Battle Royal for Trick. <laughs> well, now we've got this Joe Coffey. Sean loves this Joe Coffey. And the fans, they just don't care. Like, there's nothing wrong with them as a team, but they're just there. It's like, he we, appreciates you know, we, their work. the funny thing is we watch, NA, we watch AEW, and it's like there's so many guys that are so talented, but they're booked to just... Have bangers and lose, okay? And we see it all the time. And it's frustrating because, like, a lot of these guys is like, why isn't Takeshita, I mean, he's just there to have yeah, good matches and yeah. do jobs, right? And yeah. you get angry because it's like he should be doing better. Well, this is like the opposite where these guys are good workers who should be there to do jobs. But instead, they beat the actual stars I deceive, but I think over I and over again. Uh, this Brian, match, did you watch the match? I did. They had a great match, and these baby faces are making a comeback. And the place, I swear to God, this place was, they were going crazy for this match. And then, big dive, wipe out Gallus, place, they're having so much fun. And then, Wes gets back in the ring, he gets hit with a Larian pin by Joe Coffey, and the crowd just went, what? Killed him. Killed him dead. And for what? Like, what's Joe Coffey in line for? Why did he beat Wes Lee? Like, literally, they just did a three-way for the North American title with Obafemi, and they put Joe Coffey in the match so that, like, he could do the job and you wouldn't beat Wes Lee because Wes Lee wants his title from Obafemi. So I'm like, okay, well, great. Now we get Wes Lee and Obafemi one-on-one. -on -one, and literally on the very next show, Joe Coffey beats Wes Lee. I'm like, why did you do this? Why? Look, you need to have guys like Gallus. I would rather have Gallus there than a lot of other people in that role. And it's sometimes you have to give them credibility. You have to give them a little bit of something. At the end of the day, you know Wesley is going to go over Joe Coffey. You know Gallus. They're going to get to a certain point. Maybe they even win the tag titles, but I don't see that in their future right now. But maybe that's the plan, too, you know, in the future here. Look, you need to have some credibility for some of these people on the lower mid card and the mid card. And I get it. They look, I'm surprised that your, you, your anger is not on Javon Evans and Sean Spears. Oh, I'm not, I'm getting to that. I know. Don't but, jump the gun. But I even understand that one because you're not ready to put him in the stratosphere yet with Javon Evans. So he's got to actually like, you know, slow down, learn how to work with a guy that's got a lot of experience. Hold on. Think, what? Javon Evans, he had that match with yes. uh, with Ilya Dragunov. That was really fun. Freaking awesome. Ily, Ily to the Dragunov. point where if Ilya hadn't been the champion, Javon should have won. Okay? Well, when yeah. it was over, when yeah. it was over, we all said, okay, time to strap the rocket to this guy. But they did. Which, which they did. He ended up working Wait. a main event with Trick. He's yes. teaming with the world champion in a main event. They're giving the guy wins. And then... I don't even care that he necessarily did a job, but Sean Spears beat him. Sean Spears has done nothing. You're right. Nothing. He's not over. Nobody cares. He's not in an important storyline. 
He's not doing anything of note. And he goes in there and beats Javon Evans. Why would you put the brakes on Javon Evans and have Sean Spears beat him? It doesn't make a lick of sense. Okay. None. In that case, in that look at that lineup in that locker room, you want to have him have his first feud with somebody. You want to have him have his first real story with somebody. Who is it? You can't use Joe Coffey. He's tied up right now. So who do you put in there then? Who do you give him the loss where you wouldn't be complaining about it then? In that, case? I don't even want him to have a loss. But I I'm... want someone to be elevated for once. Oh, he worked Femi's indies. Elevated. It's not That's... like he came out of the NIL and he's a I, shot putter. I, I the guy can that. already work. But Oba he's Femi, fine. Oba Femi is higher than him on the food chain. Wes Lee just came back higher than him on the food chain. Look, I understand it. If they were ready to strap the, the rocket to him and give him the North American title, have him go over Oba Femi or have him beat Trick, and he's the, that guy, okay. But that's obviously not what their plan is. So I got to be That's honest, the problem. But, okay, if you're going to do that with him, are you going to do that with everybody? Why not do that with Oba Femi? They why are doing do that, that with Oba Femi. Then why not just have Oba Femi beat Trick then and be in the, the, that Because he's got a that. different belt. He's the You're, he's the North American champion. You've gone all the way with Obafemi. Okay, then okay. So let's just say he beats Sean Spears there. So you never want to see him beat Sean Spears again. Then I don't want to see him against Sean Spears again ever. So, do you get, so so you want him to have a Goldberg type streak then? No, but I think that he then should be beating face, guys Ryan? and moving his way face? up the ladder and when but, Wesley so he never loses? You know what he should do? Wesley should beat Obafemi. And then he has his title reign, Why? and then he puts over Javon Evans. That's what they should do. Because you know what? What is What do we keep complaining about with AEW? Nobody ever gets elevated. And they had all of these young guys, 18, 19, 20 years old. Now, you know, MJF's, trying to act like MJF's 27, 28 anybody? or whatever. These Trick guys. Williams, Ilya Dragunov, Carmelo Hayes, Braun Breaker. You're put telling me they're not trying to elevate anybody? When Tiffany they're Stratton? young. Roxanne Perez? Put them over when they're young. Javon has something very special. I know, he shouldn't be losing to Sean Spears oh, but under any it, circumstance. So what's his feud then? So, again, I, to me, I don't know. I, I, to me, you're overvaluing him, I think, a little bit too much here as far as being that dude. And I get it. And I'm not thrilled with the Spears situation either. Then why are we arguing? But with that said, because I understand that he needs to be in a feud with somebody and he's going to take an L. To me, it's like again, he's got to take it to somebody. Who is it going to be against? Ethan I'm going to go over the end. I'm going to go over the no NXT. I'm going to go. Out. I'll tell you after the break. Back in a moment. Observer Live. I looked up and down the whole roster. Are you ready for this? You know, should have beat Javon Evans. Who? Nobody. Uh huh. See exactly. No, because exactly. here's the deal. So Goldberg, that's what you're saying. No, dude, he doesn't have to win every week, brother. But listen. You established, you established that he can almost beat the NXT champion. He almost beat Ilya Dragunov. So your follow-up, you have gone from him almost beating the world champion to teaming with the current world champion to doing a job for Sean Spears. Why would you do that? If anything, once you've established that he can almost beat the world champion and he's good enough to team and win with the current world champion, then if he's losing to someone, it should be Trick, Oba Femi, not Sean Spears. If he's going to lose to somebody, there needs to be... A, what is the reason for him losing to Sean Spears? What is the reason he had to do that job? To have a 50-50 with Sean Spears... How does that help Javon Evans? It, How? It depends. You don't know what the story they're going to tell is. Rocky didn't turn around and beat Apollo Creed in the first fight. They had a story that they wanted to tell. And I get that you wanted them to Who is Apollo the Creed? Him. Who is Apollo Creed? Yeah. Carl Weathers. I know that. Yeah. But who the was he in the storyline? The world heavyweight champion. That's not Sean Spears. I know that, but for heaven's sakes. Look, I get what you're saying, but there also needs to be a hierarchy and order there. And look, I, um, again, I wish they had some more people established because, like I mentioned during the break, a heel Brooks Jensen by this point, maybe that you could have did something there. 
but that's the way things go, and you're going to have to deal with it, Brian. Deal with Joe Coffey, and you're going to have to deal with Sean Spears. What a horrible birthday. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.